Hello Galactic Family. Greetings children. I came to tell you today about the power of self-knowledge. The universe, children, expect a firm opinion from you. He wants positioning, but how many are those who lie without even knowing what they want, knowing that they came to this experience to reach their own elevation? but leaving aside in a way to postpone the inner work that is the pursuit of that truth. Living the truth that is present in your inner self and that will awaken the connection with the supreme energy, that is the pursuit of all of you. We know that the cultivation of fear, the influence you receive all the time from everyday coexistence that leads you to nourish the fear within you, and also that you bring material distractions away from your true pursuits, are sometimes obstacles that seem insurmountable. But we came here to bring you how, my children, for what is lacking to you, is to release the truth so that it manifests without fear of the simplicity and beauty of life. Keeping your position in love, bringing your truth into your daily attitudes in resonance with what you truly are is the way you should go. And when we say positioning it is talking about what resonates with the heart. For I will tell you, no one feels good about the one who is not sincere with himself, who does not trust what he wants. We are all here inserted in the same experiences and all in search of their own truths, but that most of the times is sought only from the external side, and the inner gaze is left aside. How can you manifest the truth, children, if you do not manifest it to yourself? So it is not from wanting material that we say here, from wanting to have a car, a house, but from the legitimate want that starts from within. This will, my beloved ones, has not yet been discovered by yourselves, but the search for truth, happiness and fulfillment is always present in your lives. You stop and reflect for a moment, where you wonder what your real quest is. And for a next moment they all come to the same answer as it would be, to find happiness. But what would be the happiness of each of you, children? For you repeatedly resort to material, personal, and work attachments to stop looking a little more at yourself in order to find out who you really are. How many are those who are attached to relationships, to business, to family relationships that add nothing to it? Then we speak of the truth of the soul, of the authentic desire, which radiates from the heart, from the essence I am. The search for the feeling that causes them to speak without fear, that voice that wants to resonate from inside their hearts I am and it is so. This encounter with your true selves is the starting point that will lead you to follow the path of full happiness that you seek so much. Why mask your identity within a protective cover that is not allowing you to achieve your own happiness? There is no reason not to let your truth be manifested, children. Manifesting the truth can be interpreted as arrogance, but children, that is what God wants of you. To let go of the truth that you keep in your heart, to speak openly with everyone, without half words, without worry. This is the basis of the I am principle. As long as you maintain your lives by manifesting the image of that personality which, according to what coordinates your minds, would be more accepted under the rules of society, you will remain hidden within the shell, children. But the true elf. The pearl that shines and radiates love, is hidden inside, prevented from manifesting. At first contact with your truth you can manifest the feeling of fear and insecurity, for they will certainly not be accepted by those with whom they coexist and carry out their routines. But this is nothing more than the initial shock that everyone feels when they see the change before their very eyes. Some of you, who have been living together, will be reluctant, demanding of you an acceptable posture and within the standards acceptable to them. But they forget that free will is the basis of all life on the planet, and it is the right of everyone, including you, beloved children. 
What keeps you trapped in the system you live in today? What makes them think that there is an obligation in all the rules imposed by society, children? I come here to bring the warning, dear ones, to move your lives, so that the truth contained within you can be manifested, for only through it can the barriers of fear break through, which makes you think that you cannot live simply free, how they came to this planet. Children, dear ones, do you realize that you came to this planet free of all fear, of all financial and emotional dependence? And have they, over time, aggregated these needs in their lives? How happy were all the masters who, like the example of our beloved Saint Francis, brought the example that it is possible to free themselves from the system that keeps them trapped. Living among those rejected by society at the time, refusing all luxury and material goods, but remaining free and happy for he discovered that what kept him trapped were the moorings that he himself had created during his years of life until the moment he decided to change. So it was that Saint Francis anchored the basis of the principle I am that I know myself, I know what I want, and therefore I will manifest it. I am what I am and this is the truth of my heart. Is your truth, son, to manifest the image of someone happy, or to be truly and fully happy? For, my children, you were taught to live half-truths, half-relationships, half-possibilities, and so you live as halves of something that you do not even know what it is. They are kind of sincere not to offend, they know more or less what they like not to displease, to fit in the middle and thus they become more or less people, who live relationships more or less, that relate but are not involved, that live together to please others, but forgetting yourselves. And so, life becomes more or less bearable, but deep down lies a series of fears, anxieties, doubts that hide behind their half-truths. We want authenticity. The universe needs this to serve them. He needs the truth to be known first, so that it manifests itself. Allow the manifestation of the truth in your lives, and you will see the transformation occurring to bring joy and fulfillment into your lives, beloved ones. I am El Moria and P.T.